Hey, what's up, CBN? I got my calculator open here because Miss Latressa Cott, shout out to her. Uh, when I posted on my story, she saw that I was uh, saying how rich people don't work for money. And if you don't quite understand that concept, then go read Rich That Poor Dad. But I figured I'd go ahead and do like a quick illustration real quick, just to kind of break it down a little bit simpler uh, to help anybody understand what is meant when people say that rich people don't work for money. And this is what you have to understand. Say you have this guy, Bob, who works eight hours a day and he makes $400 a week, right? Or 4000 a month, right? About 4000 a month working uh, 40 hours a week, eight hours a day. Well, if Bob wants to get more money, then usually what Bob does or what most people do, uh, do who don't think like rich people, they say, OK, I need to get more money. So I need to um, work more. I need to create, get more work so I can get more checks because they only know how to trade time for dollars. So Tom might go get a part time job to increase his uh, income, work another two hours a day or four hours a day. So let's say he work another four hours a day. And now he increases his revenue by another uh, two thousand dollars a month. Okay, so plus two thousand. Now, when he got that part-time job, he's now working an extra four hours. So instead of working eight hours a day, he's now working four hours a day. I mean, excuse me, twelve hours a day. All right. So it's only but so many hours in a day. If he works twelve hours a day, that's half of the twenty-four hours that we're given each day. Okay, so it's only twenty-four hours in a day. So he's maxed out. He can't do but so much. He has to sleep in order to, you know, stay afloat as a human. And then he has to, uh, you know, he probably has other things that he need to do to actually drive to, to the job, uh, maybe sit home for a little while and have some rest time. So he's maxed out at this point. Right. And so that's what happens to more poor people, most poor people when they try to increase their revenue. They try to trade more time for dollars. They try to work more for it. Well, you have rich people who they don't work for money, okay? So if they have, uh, let's just say, cleaning company, for example, and instead of going out to clean a house that they get that pays them 250 bucks a month, instead of cleaning that house, this person says, okay, well, I don't want to clean because I don't work for money, thinking of like rich people think. So instead, I'll just take, um, you know, 30% of this, okay? So... Instead of taking that whole two fifty, they would just take the three thirty percent, which is seventy five dollars. And you might, and then they'll say, "Okay, that's good. I made a thirty percent profit of off of this." Okay, then now all I gotta do is I need to go get five hundred more of these. Okay, so seventy five times five hundred, and they increase their revenue by just adding more value, providing more value to as a service. Okay, so what rich people do in order to increase their income is they provide more value. They help more people. So you're helping people by providing jobs to other people who want to work and use that form of, of, um, of uh, means to get money, which is trading time for dollars. And then you're also helping people by providing a service to them. So those people who want the house clean, you help them by providing more services. OK, so how do you well, what if you say you want to grow your income even more? Well, you just multiply again. So rich people multiply, poor people add. OK. So that's all you do. You just multiply and set up an ad and stop trying to trade time for dollars and trying to work more and more and more to increase your income. Instead, figure out ways where you can increase value. OK, so, for example, with my YouTube channel, I help the more people I help on YouTube, the bigger my YouTube revenue check is because I get paid from the ads that are on my YouTube videos. Well, the more people that watch the videos, the more I get paid from the ads because the more people that see the ads, which means that the more that the advertisers will pay me. OK, so same thing with my website, any of my products that I sell on my website, the more people that I'm able to help with those products that I sell, the more money that I'll make. So you have to learn how to serve more people versus trying to uh, trade more time for dollars. OK, so that really you shouldn't be working for money at all. Now, I know a lot of people who are bootstrapping a business, you might start off working it yourself because you have to pay your bills, right? And you might say, well, how am I supposed to pay my bills if I'm not taking all of the revenue? So I get that starting off, but you need to understand that concept that you're not working for money. You might work to build an asset up, okay? And that's what we're rich. Like, what, assets are what make you rich, okay? If you're not working, nobody can work their way to getting rich unless you have a million-dollar salary, okay? But and then, and then when you do have that, you still have to have great money habits in order even to maintain that money. Okay, so if you can't work your way, rich people don't work for money.
Okay, they work for assets. They work, um, and and that's it. They work for assets. All right, and poor people work for money. All right, so don't work for money. Simple as that. Work for assets. See how you can create a passive flow from what you're doing, and then multiply that passive flow. All right, I have a formula that I created. I said, uh, what is it? R I times what is it? M S equals big F. So residual income times multiple sources equals financial freedom. All right. So hopefully that was able to help. I can't talk straight, but I thank you for listening.